Welcome back to a video of documenting, documenting my study context. So today I'm going to introduce you guys about the problem and community of focus on water pollution. Calif the California coast areas face serious challenges in clean water shortage and water pollution in towns inland and Pacific Ocean. The water is frequently polluted by foreign objects, objects and chemicals out of human, natural, and industrial activities. My study will be focused on the community in South Bay area near our school, but would also extend to those living at the California coastline because we may face similar water pollution problems. How, do, how does water pollution impact the community? Water pollution near the California coastline is caused by various problems such as oil spills, agricultural pesticide usage, rainstorm runoffs, and trash dumping, and has induced serious human health problems, poisoned wildlife, and also damaged ecosystems. The quality of life and ecosystem in the South Bay as well as the California coast areas in general, can be considerably affected by water pollution in land and ocean. In the last few years, the South Bay area has encountered problems such as oil spills, rainstorm rainoff, and plastic trash dumping the ocean. There is a need for a solution to answer water, how to stop water pollution. Besides oil spills, rainstorm rainoff, pesticides, and plastic trash problems, the city water for residents in the South Bay and California coast area, city areas is generally very hard as the water contains high levels of calcium and magnesium. Water in Manhattan Beach is very hard. It is an average of 310 ppm. But the recommended drinking hardness is less than about 120 ppm. The water in lakes or ponds in the South Bay is often polluted. Animals such as wild birds, ducks, and fish face health, health issues. There is a strong need to find a solution to solve problems such as severe clean water shortage, high water hardness, and maintain local ecosystems in our community. I have interviewed two people who are living in the South Bay. I have also gathered some pictures of very bad water, of very bad and low quality water. I'm in, I have interviewed a local resident, Lisa Lee, who lives in the South Bay, and interviewed her about on her thoughts on hard water in the South Bay. I have gained a lot of first-hand information on hard water, and also obtained useful information on hard, impacts of hard water. Lisa reported that hard water needs more soap and detergents for cleaning. Hard water shortens the life of plumbing by scale, build up in pipes and fittings. She also reported that hard water leaves gray stain and gray stains in sinks and bathrooms. Hard water tastes strange, and almost all families use water filtering devices or water softeners at home. The second person I interviewed was my friend Annalise, and I interviewed her thoughts about the water quality in Polywalk Pond. She reported that she did not like the, how the water was fed by sewer. She also reported that there is no outside water source to keep the pond healthy and clean, and also says that the animals make a mess of the area too. I have also visited the pond to take pictures on the water pollution conditions. The water is clearly and heavily polluted, possibly due to domestic waste, natural drainage, and low fresh water supply. Thank you for listening to my presentation.